Bob McKillop is the coach of Davidson. Davidson will play Pitt in the Gotham Classic this Sunday at noon at Madison Square Garden. He's a local guy, which we love, born in Queens, played high school basketball at Chaminade on Long Island, and he joins us now here on the Michael K. Show. Coach, it's Michael and Don. How you doing? Hey, Michael. Hello, Don. How are you? Wonderful to be with you guys. Well, we appreciate it. What, does it still mean something to you to bring your team into Madison Square Garden? Uh, greatest city in the world, greatest arena in the world, of course. It's uh, a very special, special experience for me and also for our program, our college, and our players. What it's is a it? Home run. What do you say to the players? I mean, when they go in to play something like that, does it even have to be discussed, or is it just, hey, it's the garden? I don't have to say anything at all. Well, just the fact you call it the garden. You right. know, it's not Madison Square Garden. It's the garden. You know, you like you talk about the city. You talk about the garden. You know what you're talking about. And uh, my players have been around me enough to know that when I say that, uh, it carries some weight. You know, Bob, you, uh, you know, as we mentioned, you're from New York. You still have New York in your in your voice, and you're so so highly respected in the in the college basketball community. Did you ever try to get back to New York? Did you ever almost have a run at the St. John's job? Is that something that you wanted in your career? Well, uh, you know, I grew up being an NYU fan, and then in 62 I became a St. John's fan. So it was uh, uh, the magical world of uh, New York, and they played many of their home games uh, at Madison Square Garden, so it was always an attraction. So how do you feel about your team right now? A couple of wins in a row during this thing. So how do you feel about the game coming up against Pitt? <laughs> We're seven and one, and uh, we're winning. But I'm not real pleased about the way we're playing. <laughs> so it's a it's a good feeling. <laughs> we, um, we we have terrific kids, and and I, I want to really accentuate that. I, I've got such good kids to coach. I go into the gym every day. It's it's a joy. I don't have to worry about. Uh, uh, the people that hang on, I don't have to worry about posses. I don't have to worry about uh, calling their parents. Uh, I don't have to worry about anything like that. And they come and they work, and uh, they're incredibly hard working. And uh, so it's a joy to coach these kind of kids. And uh, sometimes they don't play as well as you like, uh, but uh, they give everything they have. And uh, we got a couple of good ones. We can shoot the ball. We push the ball. We're in the attack mode. And uh, we're just not deep, and we're not big. Now, in the past, when people thought of Davidson, they thought of Bob McKillop. Now they probably think of Bob McKillop and Steph Curry. What has Steph yeah. Curry meant to your, your college? Uh, well, that's a great uh, point, calling it the college, not the program, because he's, he's become bigger than the basketball program. He's become the face of the college, uh, a college that is uh, 180 years old, and, and he is the most recognizable, most well-talked about, uh, most important person in the history of Davidson College. And um, he, he has been just such a presence because of the way he carries himself and uh, the way he performs. But he's never at all lost his heart for Davidson. He's always made that a point of everything he does to include Davidson as something that he mentions along with his name. Did you see this kind of stardom when he was a kid? <laughs> I, I saw greatness when he was here playing in the Davidson uniform, but I didn't see him becoming the best player on the planet, which I believe <laughs> he is right now. <laughs> he's uh, he surpassed any expectation I could ever have for Bob, no disrespect meant toward Davidson, but how is Davidson able to get a Steph Curry? How come a bigger, like an ACC school, wasn't able to grab a Steph Curry? Was he just not at that level when he was young? You know, you look at him today, and, and you don't see many things different than what he was when he was 16, 17 years old. He was boyish. Uh, he had a thin frame, uh, you know, young features, uh, not very athletic from the standpoint of uh, he wasn't a high-jumping uh, fly through the air with the greatest of these athletes. Uh, so he was uh, under-recruited, and we were fortunate because he was 20 minutes away from us, and we got to see him every chance we could. And uh, it was a stroke of luck, an absolute stroke of luck. So a lot of big-name coaches have no idea what they're doing, Coach. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I know there's a lot of ACC coaches that uh, wish that they had recruited him, and uh, they certainly capitalized on his brother, uh, Seth, who eventually went to Duke and became part of a national championship team there. How often do you uh, communicate with him? Um, I would say once a month, okay. uh, once every three weeks. Uh, it's, it's remarkable how many 
people try to get close to him, try to become attached to him. And, and he's such a wonderful guy that he, he never wants to hurt anybody. And I, I really am very conscious of that. He's got more things to do than worry about me. Mm-hmm. And uh, so I'm conscious of it. But, uh, I mean, I can pick up the phone and call in a heartbeat and he'll respond. And uh, we, we just understand uh, how, how overwhelmed he is right now by the attention that he's receiving. You know, Coach, what kind of surprised us about Golden State's run is, is how important important it seemed to them to keep it going. And usually in sports we hear, we only want to win the championship, we don't care. It's almost like they don't want to be involved in a streak like that, but they seem to embrace it. When you spoke to him, did you get a sense of how important that streak to start the season was to him? Absolutely, because uh, he even shared with me that no team in NBA history had won that seven-game road swing. Uh, so they had broken it down into even uh, smaller objectives or smaller goals, and the seven-day road swing is something that had never been, occurred before. And, uh, you know, Steph is a driven guy. His pursuit of excellence uh, goes everywhere with him, and that's why Bob Ryan wrote uh, maybe last week that he can not only be the most valuable player in the league but the most improved player in the league. Uh, he, he's, he burns to be the best.